Hey Computer Explorers, this is Jenny Dietrich. I am the founder and CEO of Armit Dietrich, which is your PR firm. This is such an exciting time for you guys, and I'm so excited that you're celebrating 25 years. I'm sure that as you've gone through the years uh, with Computer Explorers as, as a technology company, you've really experienced a, experienced a lot of changes, especially with the advent of the internet, or as we call it here, Al Gore, and his interwebs. Um, but you're really coming upon a new uh, technology shift with social media. And I'm really excited to hear that you're having some, some speakers on this topic today. You're going to hear from Ken Colburn, or as I call him, the Data Doc, which is his Twitter handle. Um, you're also going to learn a little bit about Twitter and Facebook and how to use those to grow your franchises. But before you hear all of that, I want to spend a couple of minutes talking to you about social media, what it is, what we're doing with you and, and the Computer Explorers team in order to enhance your social media, as well as a couple of ideas that you can do yourself to help grow your franchise. So what is social media? It really is a, way, a new way that we're able as human beings to share news, to share information, and to share content. So think a little bit about like, the Hudson uh, River plane crash. Remember how that, how that unfolded a couple of months ago? It all unfolded on Twitter. And the reason being is that people were on the plane and people were actually um, on the ferry able to, you know, they saw the plane go down and they were able to, to tweet about it before the traditional media could even get there. And I'm sure you're hearing stories of traditional media folding, newspapers are going out of business, it's really disheartening. But part of the reason is that things are changing so quickly that we're able to gather and get our news in a much more quick fashion in 140 characters, which is really quick, quick information, little sound bites that, that as human beings we can absorb quite a bit of information. Um, but what I want you to be thinking about, even though the, the Twitter and the Facebook and the LinkedIn, that's all really exciting, what it really is about is, is relationships. And it's really, what I want you to think about is how can you use technology today to enhance relationships that you already have or that you want to have. So I liken social media to a big networking event. So instead of going to a community event or a chamber event once a month, you actually get to network every single day. Um, I actually have developed a better relationship with both Lori and Cindy, and of course Deb, but I already had a great relationship with her, um, because of Twitter. And because I've been able to have uh, conversations with them on Twitter and learn more about what they are doing for computer explorers, but also learn more about them as people. I also met Ken Colburn on Twitter, and now I consider him a friend because we have liked interests, we, have, we work in the same industry, and I consider him a friend now, even though we've never met in person. So the point is that you can go to a networking event every single day, but you're in front of your computer instead of in person. You don't necessarily have to have relationships with people in person anymore. And the best part about it, you don't have to put on your, you don't have to brush your teeth, you don't have to shower, you can sit there in your pajamas, because no one will know unless Deb video Skypes you. So why do you go to networking events? You really go for a couple of reasons. You go um, to meet new people, people that could be referral sources for you, people that you can do business with, people who have similar interests to you, with you. What online technology is allowing you to do now is have those relationships on a bigger level, a much uh, larger scale, and on a, on a global basis as well. Um, so what I want to kind of go through just really quickly with you is what we're doing from a, a relationship standpoint to help you computer explorers engage with new people and using the technologies to do that. So remember, this is about relationships, this is not about the technology. We do what we call a response campaign. And you know that there are publications that potential franchi franchisees read, that parents read, and the educators read. And so we're reading those publications. And anytime we find an article that's relevant to computer explorers, we send it to Cindy. Cindy then drafts a response or comment um, that she posts online to that article. Most publications now have websites, and so you're able to comment on those articles online. What this does is two things. Reporters now are so overwhelmed with the things that they have to do, and they're overworked, and they're covering beats that they never thought they would have to do. So they're going through the responses on their articles and finding either new ideas for new articles or sources to interview for new stories. So if you're there and you're top of mind and you're commenting on, the, on those articles, they're gonna call you for a story. 
the other thing is, is that reporters are people too. And if they see that you're commenting on their articles, even if you don't always agree with them, but that you're reading them and you're interested in what they're saying, they're going to develop a relationship with you and use you as a referral source. So we call that the response campaign. And that's something that you can do. You're already probably already reading blogs and articles and publications online. If you have something to say that you either totally agree with that the reporter has written or you disagree or there's something that you think should have been covered in the article that wasn't, comment on that. Put your name, make sure you put your name in there because even though it'll say name, email address, and website address, it doesn't always show up in the comment. So write your comment and then at the bottom put your name, put your um, franchise URL in there so that it drives people directly to your franchise site. That's one thing that you can do, can be doing. The other thing that you can do is get, just get out there. If you're not on Facebook, do it. It's the easiest and most fun way to, to start social networking. I actually have 13 nieces and nephews, but they're spread across the country. And so a couple of years ago, I joined Facebook just to keep up with them. And for, from a personal standpoint, it's been great because I'm able to connect with them daily. I can hang out with them um, at baseball games. I can hang out with them at gymnastics. I can hang out with them at ballet. I can go to kindergarten graduation. I can do all of these things right in front of my computer. And I have a great relationship with them, even though I probably only see them two or three times a year. When I got more comfortable with Facebook on a personal level, I started adding business relationships. And in fact, I think Deb was probably the first, I think she was the first business relationship that I added to my Facebook page. And what that's really done is created a really strong bond between the two of us because we see what one another's doing, not just at work, but also in the personal life. And I'm able to see what she's dealing with on a daily basis at work, and I can start thinking about how can we help from a communication standpoint. So we've developed this, this deeper bond um, online that, that it has been strengthening the bond that we have in person. I follow Lori on Facebook as well, and I learn things about her and her kids that I really enjoy knowing. So there are ways that you can use your business relationships to, to sort of blur that business and personal line. Um, the other thing that we've done recently is we added a Facebook fan page for the business, and this is something that you can do for your franchise. Um, what it's done, allowed, for, uh, allowed us to do is really engage our industry. So people actually post um, articles and trends and facts and figures and stats and all of that on our fan page. And our fan page has become an industry standard for where people get information. You can do the same thing with your franchise. Create a fan page and start inviting parents and educators and even students as they get a little bit older will have their own Facebook pages and they'll be able to become fans. This is where you'll share information not too salesy, not too pushy, but information about the business and what it is that you're doing. Lastly, get on Twitter. I know it's, it seems like it's going to be a time suck. It seems intimidating. I get all of that. You can do it, and you can do it in, a, in an hour a day. Deb, Cindy, and Lori, and even some of you are already there, but if you're not there, Get out there, participate in conversations, listen to what others are saying, find gems of wisdom and knowledge. Engage with new people, foster the relationships. Remember, this is about relationships and using the technology that's available now to, to enhance those relationships. So while today it may be Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, tomorrow it may be Tumblr and FriendFeed, two years from now, I don't know what it's going to be. But rest assured that as you're learning technology to develop and enhance and connect and engage with people, you'll be able to use the new technologies that come out to continue those relationships and form new relationships. I think you're going to have so much fun out there. It's a little addictive, I'm not going to lie. Um, people look at me all the time and they say, really, you only spend an hour a day? I really only spend an hour a day, but I have it down to a science. I've kind of figured out what works for me. I have. Uh, software set up with TweetDeck and I have some, um, some other things set up that I use. You're going to learn how to use those things later today so I won't spoil the surprise. But let's work together to, to make you successful. You know, we live and breathe this every single day. This is what we do for a living. So if you have any questions, if you need any, any advice, if you just have a quick question, please, please, please don't hesitate to email or call the Armand Dietrich team. We're more than happy to help you. And without further ado, have a great day today.